Welcome everyone. In order to activate eSIM in iPhone 14 Pro Max, the first step is you're going to open up the settings app. From here, you want to find where it says mobile data. And you should have two options. For most people, you should see here, set up mobile service. If you have inserted a physical SIM card, uh, you will have an option to add eSIM instead. So you either tap on set up mobile service or add eSIM. Now, once you tap on this one, it's going to check your older devices. If you have an old iPhone, which has a physical SIM card inserted, it should show whether or not you can convert the physical SIM in the old iPhone into eSIM into your iPhone 14 Pro Max. In my case, it says your SIM is not supported and then the phone number right here. If you do not see this screen, then if we tap on other options, you should be brought to this screen by default. So we see here, set up mobile service. I'm going to go through the use QR code first and then transfer from nearby iPhone. I'll have timestamps for everything in the description. So let's start off with the use QR code. You use this if your cellular provider has given you an eSIM QR code. This will be sent via email, most likely, so you will need another device, such as a laptop, or you may have a physical piece of card with this QR code. And all you do is you place the QR code in the frame of the camera. It will scan the QR code. And if this is a valid eSIM, it should show, you know, add eSIM or set up this phone number. In my case, this QR code is invalid, so I'll tap on OK and I cancel. I cannot proceed in my case. But if you have a QR code, you're having issues, you will need to call up the carrier because they may have sent you an invalid QR code. Now let's try the transfer from nearby iPhone. So first of all, on the iPhone, you are trying to transfer an eSIM or physical SIM from. You do need to be on the iOS 16 software update. So on the old iPhone, you're trying to transfer the SIM or eSIM from. You're gonna open up the settings app. You are then going to find general. You're then going to find about. And if your iOS version is not 16 or later, you see software version 15, 14, 13, 12, etc. You're gonna go into the software update. And if there is a new update available, you want to download the update and install it onto your device. If the iOS 16 software is not available on your iPhone, then the transfer from nearby iPhone feature will not work. If you do have iOS version 16 on both iPhones, this transfer from nearby iPhone feature relies on your carrier supporting it. So if your uh, carrier does not support this feature, I will cover what you can do in a little bit. But let's try first. I'm going to select transfer from nearby iPhone. And as long as the iPhone you're trying to uh, transfer the eSIM or physical SIM from has Bluetooth on, this should show up. If you're having issues getting this prompt to show up, you want to turn off both the iPhone you're transferring the eSIM from and then the 14 Pro Max you're transferring the eSIM to. And then you try again, and this prompt should show up. So let's tap on continue. And now it's asking for a verification code. In some cases, it will show a bubble on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You just place the camera of the uh, iPhone you're transferring the eSIM or uh, physical SIM from into the frame, and that will scan the code. But in this case, it wants to do a verification. So we just enter in the pin we see. And you can see here, it does say your SIM is not supported. So most carriers do not support this transfer feature. And so if your iPhone or your know, carrier does not support transferring the physical SIM 
or eSIM from the old to new iPhone. The only solution is you need to call up the carrier and you'll need to ask them to get a brand new eSIM. In some cases, they will actually charge more in order to use an eSIM compared to physical SIM. So if you don't have a SIM card slot, that is something to keep in mind. Once you do have the eSIM available, just skip back to the timestamp where I show how to scan the QR code. And then once you've done that, everything should be set up. If you've watched this tutorial to the very end and you just you know, still can't get things working, then the first solution would be to call up Apple support outright, but they most likely won't be able to help. The second solution is calling up the carrier. If you watch this, you're still having issues, the carrier will help you out. You will get the best success if you go to an install, you know, AT&T or a cellular provider, and they should 100% have everything set up. It's unfortunate the SIM card was removed on the US model of iPhones. Uh, eSIM, you know, it's not as convenient, but uh, this is the solution Apple wants. Uh, hopefully they revert it with the iPhone 15 series. That being said, if you want to help support the channel, there is the super thanks option, uh, there's the member option, and if you do buy for anything from Amazon, if you use my Amazon affiliate link in the description before you buy, I will get a cut, which Amazon usually takes. Bye-bye.